Today we're going to be looking at aldehydes and ketones, so pretty important part of the MCAT. Um, so aldehydes look something like this, we have an H um, attached to it, attached to the carbonyl carbon, and ketones will have two carbons attached to that carbonyl carbon, okay? So just the difference is this H right there, alright? And this example that I draw here is ethanol, and that is the common name of acetone, that's what it's most likely going to be called on the MCAT. Um, and so, in terms of how do we make these compounds, how do we make aldehydes and how do we make ketones, the most common way is just forming it by alcohols, okay? So, different alcohols uh, will make either aldehydes or ketones, okay? And these are all oxidizing agents, PCC, CRO3. Um, so, what happens is we have divided into primary carbons, primary alcohols, secondary alcohols, and tertiary alcohols. That's just based on the number of carbons that are attached to that main carbon right there. So in the primary um, alcohol, what's going to happen when we add oxidizing agent um, is we're going to get an aldehyde. All right? So what's going to happen is, if we see right here, we have two H's. All we're going to do is make it from an H2O down to um, a carbonyl, car carbonyl oxygen. So a double, double bond to the O. So pretty much you just extract two hydrogens. All right. Same thing's going to happen in this case. Um, we're going to extract those two hydrogens, and what we're going to get is a ketone now. But now in this case, where is that other hydrogen? Remember, we extracted one hydrogen here and one that was attached to the O. There's none in this tertiary um, alcohol, so if you guessed it, no reaction. All right. So just know that um, a primary will go into an aldehyde, secondary will go into a ketone, tertiary, no reaction. So now, um, you know, we saw that CRO3 and PCC were some common ones in terms of oxidizing agents. And remember, oxidizing agents are something that causes another reaction to be oxidized. And oxidized means it loses electrons. Remember, oil rig. So oxidation will lose electrons or lose hydrogens. And that's why in the previous example, we saw that two hydrogens were extracted. They were left, and that's why that's an oxidizing oxidation and these are all oxidizing agents um, and so some common examples are, are these ones right here anything with the CR we can kind of I mean it's kind of a generalization again but I like generalizations for the MCAT um, so we don't have to memorize as much uh, if it has a lot of CRs and a lot of O's especially O's if it has O's you know it's going to be an oxidizing agent that should be you know pretty much basic for any type of chemistry question if it has a lot of O's it's going to be an oxidizing agent Likewise, if it has a lot of H's, it's going to be a reducing agent. All right? Remember, reducing agent will cause a reduction. Reduction is the gain of electrons or a gain of hydrogens. All right? So if you can guess right here, what's going to happen is we're going to convert this um, aldehyde into now an alcohol. So we're adding electrons, adding hydrogens. All right? And in this ketone, same thing. So pretty much I just showed you two of the opposite reactions um, and likewise this NABH4 can be um, converted to or can be used in place of LiAlH4 and we also have to use an H plus at the end. Not too important um, but as long as we can kind of recognize what an oxidizing agent and what a reducing agent is um, and make that generalization, uh, a lot of O's oxidizing agent, a lot of H's reducing agent. That not only help us with these reactions, it also help us a lot with the actual chemistry, gen chem section of the test. So these are just some you know basic basic reactions that we'll kind of need to know, especially the first one is called the Grignard reagent or Grignard reaction. Uh, you guys probably all remember this. Uh, what happens is um, because this is positive two and this is minus one, the CH three we can treat almost like a CH three minus with a lone pair um, so that's CH3 minus is gonna just come in like that bump that everything up like that and so we're gonna get this CH3 like so um, and that H3O plus is just gonna protonate this negative charge and so now that'll be OH okay so we'll make an alcohol okay? um, likewise we can also use something like CH3Li and that just will replace the, the CH3 MGBR um, and that should make sense because this is a Li is a positive one charge, so that will give CH3 minus, so we just treat it like a nucleophile. All right. Next one is Wittig reaction, um, and we react uh, some type of ketone with uh, PH3PCH2. And what is PH? Uh, PH is uh, phenol, 
So if you know it's like those those benzene rings attached to it, all right. So what's going to happen is we're simply going to get that. So this this ketone will now just turn into alkene. So it converts ketones to alkenes. And so we have all these reactions together. You know, there's not too many that we have to remember. So it's kind of just something that we should probably memorize. Um, but you guys can, if you practice it enough, um, they should be pretty obvious what the what the result or what the product is going to be. If you like our videos, be sure to check out our website mcatforme.com. The videos accompany our free MCAT course syllabus for a three-month study plan. We have the books you should use, the homeworks to do, videos to watch, and chapters to read. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll have new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Thank you.